In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a retro vintage logo design for a clothing brand. And I'm gonna do it all within Kittle. Thanks Kittle for sponsoring this video. Now, Kittle is an amazing platform that allows you to build logos, t-shirt designs, or even posters really fast using the templated system, using the elements and graphics, and it makes it really quick to build a design all within the browser. You don't need Photoshop, you don't need Canva. Now what you do is go and filter by logos, you can see we've got the categories here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a really cool badge style logo, cause you know, I'm a fan of badges. I love playing around with badges. So I'm gonna select this badge here. All you gotta do is click on it. Then you can go to the top and then you can click use this design. And once that will load up into the browser, their editor. And with the editor, we can change the font. We can change the colors. We can change everything about this design. I can click on it. So if I click on the back, you can see there's a texture there. So I can change the color of the texture. So if I wanna go like black or orange or you know, whatever color really that we want to go with. So maybe I want it to go like an orange, like my brand color. Like that's pretty cool. Maybe bring it down a little bit. And we can drop the opacity of the texture if you want as well. I kind of like that grungy look. So what I'm gonna do is actually I can click on the text. You can move things around any element that you click on as you can see. It's all grouped together. If I hold Alt and move my mouse wheel, I can actually zoom in. You can hold press spacebar and move the artboard around as well. Double click and I'm gonna type in Fifth, fierce, and then we'll go clothing. And if I want to change the size, you can see you can change the size on the side. I can move that. I can make this one bigger. We can even scale it like that, as you can see, which is really cool. But I wonder if we can change this font. So what I'm going to do is click on this. I can click on this element and then go to the side. You can see that in the text settings on the right hand side, we have all these fonts. So you can filter by serif, sans serif, script really, really nicely. So for example, if I go to serif and maybe I want to find a nice one, let's go to that grosser one. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. That fits nicely within that. And I'm just going to drop the size just like that. And if I want to change the color, just go to the top, get the text color. And if I want to sample it, I click the little eyedropper and I can sample the that gold color that we just had before as you can see there maybe even if we want to change that color to even the orange you can see it's 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 sets it just like that and the cool thing is it saves the document palette right within the, the color section there you've also got like transformation effects so you can see you got angle rise and flag and stuff which is really cool now if i go to the left hand side you can see i can also drag and drop other texts in here so maybe i want some certain text for example, if I go to uh, modern, <coughs> we can like drag and drop text right on top into this design. So as you can see here, for example, let me, let me just change the color so you can see. So I can, you know, un take different parts of this and um, reuse that, right? And I can delete parts. You can just press delete on your keyboard and it will delete it. So I'm just gonna control Z as well, which is really handy. Now I wanna go to elements and we've got shapes, we've got badges, you've got ornaments. You've got components. So for example, maybe I wanted to play around with having like a little ribbon or something. Maybe it like goes across, you know, something like that. And then I want to change the color to that uh, brown color. To bring this behind, all you got to do is go to the bottom right corner. It says layers. And so I can bring this below the clothing layer, as you can see there. And so I can bring this like that. And then I'm gonna change the color of this to, let's just make it that black. And because it's a it's a font, it has like different layers in it. Um, let me just change it all to the black color, just like that. So you can see now we fit that text right within this little like ribbon we added into that design. And I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. I'm just gonna make the background color, the orange a bit darker. Maybe we're gonna go like this brownie color like that. I think that's cool. You can also filter by illustrations and, or abstract shapes. So you just click on the little filters here and we can add like <laughs> textures. You can add like little um, stars and stuff, mid-century design. You know, there's so many different type of things. Now I want to go to animal heads. So I'm going to go down and click on animal heads. So I'm in the illustration section and I want to add an animal head into this design. Let's go this one. And I'm going to change it to this color like that.
I want to delete this. Bring this into the middle. I want to get rid of that. I'll move these like this. We can uh, drop the opacity of this. Let's maybe go 50%. No, that's too much. We'll go maybe 80%. And I'm going to bring this up, this text up on the top layer. Whoops. So we can see how that feels. Maybe we want to make it really big and put it in the center. And you know, bring it to the back. We'll see how that feels. Yeah, that's a little bit distracting. So we'll go back to the smaller size. So you just press Control Z, which I like. I think we'll leave it there. Um, established. Um, 2022. No, let's go establish. Uh, 2007. Actually, no, let's go 2015. There we go. Established fierce clothing. I want to get rid of this or this one down the bottom. <clears throat> that ornate. Yeah, let's go with these axes here and drop that in there. And the lighter one can be white or. So, what if I want to go and add some texture? I'm gonna go to the bottom left. We've got paper, we've got wood, we've got cracked textures. I love grunge, so I'm going to click on the grunge. And you can see I want to find um, a bit of concrete or something like that. Let's try this one. So you can see uh, we've got this texture. So it's over the top of everything. So we can go multiply, as you can see there. Soft uh, overlay would probably work well as well. So let's go back to uh, multiply. Let's see burn. I think color burn works pretty well and we can always change the color of the text texture so i want to make that orange and then i want to change the ornaments to orange as well really digging this i think that's really looking cool so once you're happy with the design, you can go to the top right corner, click the download. But what I can actually do is save it as a PNG, go to download, and then just gonna save that into my folder. And now you can see we have this logo like that. You can see all the texture there, super dope. Looks really amazing. So that's Kittle. Definitely check it out. I'll put a link in the description below, but you can create amazing designs. If you wanna see a similar video like this, check the video on the screen.